What is up everybody, my name is Andrew and welcome to another one of our one minute, 10 minutes, one hour space engineers creative build challenges where we're gonna be attempting to build a transport ship in one minute, 10 minutes and one hour. Uh, a transport ship basically is just a ship that is going to have a uh, at least a cockpit and a seat. That's what I consider a transport ship, uh, if, especially for the purposes of our one minute one, it's gonna be very simple, but hopefully by the time we get to one hour, it'll be a little bit more complex with a little bit more features. All these ships over here are the ones we've done in previous episodes. So if you wanna check those out, uh, feel free to check out the uh, the mining ship and the welding ship episodes but this one is a transport ship we're going to start with one minute right here where we have one minute to build some sort of transport ship let's get the timer on the screen there it is there's our timer we only have one minute to build any sort of transport ship i've got my blocks all ready so let's get this started and three two one hit it all right one minute to go let's start by building blocks upward like so i think i'm just gonna go like that and we're gonna go get our cockpit immediately so cockpit bam right there next i'm gonna try to get some thrusters down i think so let's go thruster 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 Perfect, we're gonna go put another block right here and then like maybe fill that out right there. Let's get some batteries or just one battery rather. So this one right here and then let's get our connector that, so that we can connect it to a base and charge it whenever we need to. Okay, so we've already got our downward facing thrusters. Let's go ahead and get our gyro so we don't forget it. Let's get our backward facing thrusters. I'll go one, two, like so. Let's get our forward facing thrusters. We'll go, oh, we're gonna have trouble putting that somewhere. So you know what, let's put it there and let's move the gyro. Here. How are we doing on time? 18 seconds? Okay, so we now need to get some sort of left-right thruster. That's important. Uh, I'll put them on the bottom, I guess. So, boom, left, right, and we need a seat. So let's get our offset seats right here. We have six seconds. I'm gonna put them, boom, right there, and boom, right there, and that's time. We have a successful transport ship in only one minute. Uh, we're gonna test these out all out at the end, but just looking at it, I think these are not in a great position. If I could have found a better place to put them, maybe that would have been good. So maybe if I have moved this one forward, I could have put these like in the little gap or something. I don't know. That would have given a, a little bit less of a profile, but you know, it's not bad. It's not a bad ship, I don't think. Okay, the one minute one is always a little bit frantic because there's no planning really. It's just kind of putting blocks down and hoping that it gets to uh, where we want it to get to. But the 10 minutes is a little bit better. So let's get 10 minutes on the screen. There we go, 10 minutes. And I've also got my my uh, my phone timer as well, which is gonna ring when 10 minutes is up just so that I don't like overshoot. Uh, so I'm gonna hit them both at the same time in three, two, one, bam. Make sure they're both going here. They are, okay, perfect. So we have 10 minutes to build a better transport ship than that. Uh, so how are we gonna do that? That's a good question. I'm gonna build up first. I'm gonna build forward. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have one block in the center like that. And then on these sides, we're gonna do something like, we're gonna have two little cockpit seats, I think. Cause I do like doing two the two cockpit seat style. So let's, oh, I can use benches. Oh, that would've been good for that. Um, but we're gonna go two cockpit seats. So maybe actually this, let's, let's go down one. Bam, right there. And we're gonna go uh, right here as well. Bam, right here. Um, I'm actually not using the, um, the, here, let me use symmetry mode. That might be a little bit helpful. Uh, and saving us a little bit of time. So we've got two cockpit seats, that's good. Next, we're gonna wanna find places for our actual seats. So I think I'm gonna go like this. Uh, let's get that bench maybe, because I actually did kind of like that. Or actually, you know what, here's what we're gonna do. Let's, let's change this up a little bit. I'm gonna go up right here and hold that so that I can remove these. And what I wanna do instead is I wanna put our batteries directly, directly on the back of this. So we're gonna go two batteries, um, make sure they're placed the proper way. One, two, just like that. Directly off those batteries, I think I'm gonna go with our seats. So we're gonna go with a bench right here. Actually, maybe I do use these offset seats. One right here and one right here. We're about uh, a quarter of the way there, so we need to start getting our thrusters down. I think maybe what I'll do, this is gonna be an interesting design, but if I come up like this, we're gonna try to put one of these things, one of our, one of these cool new thruster things that they added recently. And I wanna see if that's gonna be able to, um, to support the entire ship. Cause this is gonna look kinda cool if we have it like this. It's gonna look like a little grasshopper sort of thing. Although, let's do it like that. Then we need to get, maybe, you know what? Let's get one cargo container, I think. I'm gonna go for one cargo and then a connector. And that's how we're gonna connect the base to the ship. So the profile of the ship's gonna be about that big, which I think I'm fine with. I don't think we're gonna need another battery. Something like that <laughs> looks a little weird, but I think it's gonna look cool. Maybe if I go forward one like this and then put it down like that, that might look a little even cooler. There we go. It's gonna look like a sort of little, um, like a, uh, whatchamacallit, one of those flying bugs that's got wings like this. So I'll bring this around as well.
There we go, something like that. And then I can do stuff to this. I can add like lights on the bottom or something, which I think would look kind of cool. So uh, yeah, and this should be out of the way of the, the seats as well. And in fact, speaking of seats, I might be able to add a, 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 a third one on the side here. So you know what, actually here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, let's remove these seats for now. I'm gonna put one block of, uh, of um, distance between the seat and the cockpit, and I think that's gonna look good. And then over here, I'm gonna put my seats back down, and I can't use symmetry mode because it's gonna be a little weird if I do. I'll do seat, seat, and then seat back here, so we have an entrance to the uh, the connector there. So same thing on the other side. We'll go seat, seat, and then seat back here. Right here, I'll do something like this, I guess. <laughs> a little bit of little bit of separation there. How are we doing on time? We have four minutes left, so we need to actually uh, start getting this thing done. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go with a, a gyroscope right there, I think. So let's get boom, boom. We're going to go two gyro. Actually, no, we're only going to go. Yeah, no, we're going to go two gyros. Then I'm going to go with a something like this for our thrusters on the uh, on the sides. For our thrusters on the back, I'm going to go something like that right there. And for our thrusters on the front, I'm going to do something very similar with... Uh, I don't want him to blast the, the poor person. Let's go something like this. Okay, two minutes remaining. We've really got to get this thing going. It's almost there. I want to put some lights in there. Do I have lights on my hotbar? I do. We're going to throw some lights right in the center there. And so far, it's looking good. We've got left, right. We've got back. We've got forward. We've got downward facing. Uh, we're, we're, we don't have any upward facing thrusters, but I think that's fine. Let me maybe make the bottom here then in that case. And I think that'll be good. Uh, so a couple of these. Then we'll go... Actually, we'll go one more like this. And then we'll go up like so. Boom. Maybe down like that. That'll be like our little landing gear sort of thing. There we go. Uh, we have a little bit of extra time. Is there anything else I want to add maybe? Um, I think possibly what I'll do then is I'll do some lighting. Some extra lighting here. Because I, I, I thought it would be a cool idea to add some... Oh, we have inset lights. Oh, I didn't even realize. Can I use that? Right there. Inset light, inset light. Okay, I think that's gonna look pretty good. We'll do all the configuring after. So any configuration that we have to do to all these lights, we'll do after. So these lights I might change the color of before we go. But looking at the ship, we got one final look at this. Does it need more power? I don't know. Does it need more thrust? I don't know. Um, but we're gonna find out in the testing, of course. Um, is there anything else that I wanna add just at the last second here? I don't think that there is. So let's do some, uh, some make it look nice, I guess. <laughs> I'll put like a sign in right there or something. <laughs> I don't know why. We have 12 seconds left. Um, just looking for any final flaws that we have, but I think we're good. We've got a cockpit. It's looking pretty decent. All right, I'm thinking, let's let the timer run out here. There it is. And we have a ship. This is our 10 minute ship. In 10 minutes, we were able to build, I don't know why this is here. Let me oop, cut that out. And actually this one, I think I probably had symmetry mode while I was building this, but yeah, our 10 minute ship I, look, I think looks pretty good. It allows for up to six passengers as well as two pilots. It's got thrust pointing downward, it's got thrust pointing back. Um, I think this is overall a pretty, a pretty solid ship. It looks kind of neat as well, which I like. Um, so the final one that we're going to do is going to be our one hour ship. This is going to take a long time and I do this one a little bit differently. Uh, instead of talking through the entire thing, I'm going to have... Uh, Every 10 minutes, I'll come back and and uh, tell you what I've been working on, basically. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much how we're going to do it, because I can't sit here for an hour and show you guys everything. So, uh, let's get our timer on the screen. All right, there we go. Timer is on screen, so let's get this one started in three, two, one. now. Let me make sure they're both going. And they are indeed. Okay, so we have one hour to build a transport ship that outshines both of these. Um, in the past, we've done some pretty good work with the one hour challenge, but this time, I think, um, I really don't know what I'm gonna go for. I think I'm gonna go for another hydrogen thing because going in space is gonna be good. So let's get that started with, and maybe I'll change the color of what we're working with just to make it look a little bit nicer. We'll do like a, a darker, clean armor skin look or something, which is actually extremely similar to what we were just doing, so I don't know why I even bothered. Uh, I'm stalling. Okay, we're gonna do a hydrogen sort of thing. So uh, I think for this, how do I wanna how do I wanna picture this? So what I'm kind of thinking is having an interior sort of ship. So it's it's gonna be like um, pressurized is what I'm thinking. But let me make sure that I have the distances correct here. So if I've got 
Oh, I could use these actually, and these would actually give me... Can I walk through? Yeah, I can, so I wouldn't need this necessarily, but that'd be a good wall. We're gonna have a block there, and then we're gonna have a, a cargo container in each of these. So a, a tiny baby cargo container. That, yeah. Like that, and that. Okay, we're just coming up on the first 10 minutes past, and this is what I have so far. It's a little bit of a hydrogen um, base of a ship here. I've got like a little kind of interior thing with some windows, and I think it's looking pretty good. Uh, we're going to have a bit of a walkable area with some seats that you can sit in as well. Um, it's probably going to go a little bit longer as well, and then we'll have a cockpit up here or something. Um, I'm still kind of trying to figure out uh, what the special things that I want to do, but we are definitely getting there. Um, so let's continue. I think that's pretty good. All right, we're past the 40 minute mark and uh, check it out, I've added a survival kit. <laughs> I've added a survival kit and a button, which I think I'm gonna turn into like some sort of emergency button or something like that, which I think will be pretty neat. But uh, let's keep going, we're 20 minutes down, we got 40 minutes to go. We'll go ahead and throw our gyros under there as well. Kablammo, kablammo. Oh, we've passed the 30 minute mark as well, so halfway done and it looks like we're coming along. I got a door installed, so that's good. Uh, the rest of the ship's coming along, I think. It's getting there. Okay, with less than 20 minutes left, uh, I need to speed run this because I did do something cool, but I'm gonna wait to show you guys that until the end. So let's keep going. I really need to get the cockpit on, and then that's pretty much the last major thing I need to do. So let's get that going. I think I go with the control seat. Then I'm gonna bring it all the way up front. Boom, boom, boom. We just passed the 10 minute mark and I'm really starting to feel rushed, but I think we've still got this. We just need to speed run the rest of this cockpit. We're almost there, it's looking good. <laughs> uh, actually these, maybe I could turn into these. I'm still trying to get some nice design work going here. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Custom cockpit, custom cockpit. Boom, perfect, perfect. Four minutes, we've only got five minutes remaining. We're getting there, I've almost got everything done. Vent right there. Vent right there, close. It's green, which means it's good. And this one as well, close. It's green, okay. All of our vents are working, that's good. It, everything's looking decent. <laughs> We're almost there. Oh, we need a, you know what we need is a, a, a connector actually. Where am I gonna put the connector? Two minute warning, what am I missing? I've got thrusters in every direction, front, back, left, right. I can go thrusters pointing up actually, that wouldn't be a bad idea. All right, with one minute remaining, I'm just doing some final uh, tweaking of the stuff. Well, with even 40 seconds remaining, not even one minute. I'm doing some final tweaking of everything, making sure everything is working right, and I think it is. Remove that. All right, six seconds remaining. What have I forgotten? I don't know. I think this is a. I think this is a ship. I think this is. There we go. Uh, stop that timer. And pencils down. We now have the end of our. Uh, this is our transport ship, our one hour transport ship. And uh, I think, you know, I'm kind of proud of it. It's, it's, um, if there's one thing that it's missing, I think it's more upward facing thrusters. We have a couple of them, but, uh, but that was definitely an afterthought. So if this guy does go to space, he might have a little bit of trouble stopping in that one direction, but it's got thrusters left. It's got thrusters uh, right. It's got forward. It's got backward. It's got bottom thrusters. It's basically got everything you need. It's got three gyros, which maybe a couple more would be nice. Um, and it's got an enclosed cockpit right there, which I think looks pretty nice. So that's our lineup right there. Unpainted, but you know, that's our lineup. Everything's looking good. And um, let me go ahead and configure all these guys, give them a quick paint job, and then we'll test them out and see how they run. All right, I've gone ahead and given the uh, ships all their own little color scheme. They actually have the same color scheme, just a little bit different variation uh, of it for all of them. And I've gone ahead and spawned a couple of engineers as well. So we're going to go ahead and uh, try these things out, try and transport them. There's not very many tests we can do for a transport ship, right? It's not like the uh, the, the welding ships where we could actually go weld something, grind something down, carry materials. Uh, same with the mining ships over there. For this one, it's more just like, how does the ship perform? How does it fly? Does it fly well? That sort of thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop in the car, uh, the the cockpit right there. I'm gonna press F6 to go to one of my other engineers and plop him in this seat. I'm gonna press F6 again to go to another engineer, plop him in that seat, and now we have a full group of engineers. Let's go back to my uh, normal one. If you guys are wondering, by the way, if you've never done this before, if you go to the replay tool up here in the admin screen, you can actually spawn new characters and then press F6 to, uh, to, to use them to run around. This is for the replay tool, which is described like this is how you use it right here. Um, it's a little bit uh, tough to use. Well, I mean, it takes some getting used to, but 
it's it's a powerful tool if you're trying to do like cinematics or something like that. Anyway, let's get in this guy and go ahead. Now it was doing something weird with the battery when I locked this, so it might. Okay, no, it works fine. All right, so we have our engineers, and we're just gonna like transport them, you know, like go around. Let's let's see how this ship performs. Honestly, I'm seeing a little bit of uh, a little bit of maxing out of the uh, of the uh, ship here as I go like heavy load here when I when I use all my thrusters, but it's it's performing really, really well. This, in fact, you know what? If I were like trying to drop someone off in the middle of a battle and I wanted to go in fast, I could come in, just like kind of like fly around, boom, go, 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 and then fly away. This is a pretty good ship. This one right here performs very well. I like it. It's zippy, which makes sense. It's a, it's a tiny, tiny ship. So um, I think this one's nice. I like it. Let's go ahead and head back and uh, put it back in its parking spot. Let's go ahead and go into here and lock this guy. It does its job well. It's not really pressurized, but it's fine. We have suits for a reason. Um, it's it's fine. I like it. Good ship. All right, the next ship here, which is kind of, uh, I, I think we're calling it like the Firefly or something, or, or the Dragonfly maybe, because it looks kind of like that. Let's uh, head into the cockpit here and let's get some of our engineers on board as well. Uh, so we're just gonna go and inhabit some of these seats. This is why I spawned six engineers, because I want to get all these seats filled out. There we go. Check this out. We, just, <laughs> we have a full load of little engineers in our little in our little ship. I actually think that's kind of cool. Let's get a little screenshot of that. That's funny. But anyway, let's try this guy out. Uh, recharge off. Let's unlock it. Oh, no, it automatically changed our recharge mode. It's actually very fast to respond going up. Now, it's not very fast to respond going down, but that's because I don't have any upward facing thrusters. But, uh, but yeah, I like this. Okay, let's go forward. It's a little slow to go forward, I will say that. But the power that it has from its upward, from its downward facing thrusters, I should say, is uh, is definitely um, compensating for that. So it goes down like that, but if I turn it like this, I can really get some fast speed going. So this guy, this is actually kind of cool. This, this feels more like a helicopter, which makes sense. It kind of looks like one too. That's a cool look. Look at that. <laughs> I kind of like that. But, uh, but yeah, so this one seems like the one you'd kind of go in, you know, you'd, you'd maybe drop in right here, then you'd turn real hard to slow yourselves down, and then kind of like drop off your, your troops and then run away. That's cool. I like this. Um, in terms of power usage, it's not maxing out, so we could add more thrusters and it'd be fine. Um, max we get is 72 if we're using all of our thrusters at once. Oh, we got 87 there for a second, but no, it's, it's good. It's good. I like it. The other one was Zippy, so it's really good at being Zippy. This one right here is just really good at carrying a lot of people and uh, and, and being responsive if you're trying to use mostly that base, that that thrust. All right, let's connect this guy up, number eight right there, and let's turn it to recharge mode as well. This one might end up being my favorite, I don't know. Uh, this one up here is a little bit different. Let's actually do something special for this one. I want to build a, uh, a, little bit of a, a little bit of a setup, so give me just one second and I'll come back with something cool. All right, there we go, a little loading platform. So let's get the little uh, Andrew bot people and get them loaded. Okay, so we go up the loading platform and we can go directly onto here, into the door. In fact, let me close these doors here because we're not using this quite yet. And we can load into here. Now I think this one can only support four people, which is kind of a minus to its um, to its book, but we'll see. Maybe it can support more. Uh, no, it's one person per thing. Okay, so everyone load in. We're going on an adventure. Okay, with everybody loaded up, we have... Oh, hang on. It looks like I've got some areas that aren't actually powered. Oh, no! That is a... Uh, that's a mistake. Yeah, okay, somehow I've done this. I think this is probably what happened when I used the uh, the, the symmetry mode. I probably didn't have everything as symmetric as I wanted. Let's see. Yeah, because this side is fine. So, um, okay, that's fine. Uh, we're going to test it without this, but when I upload it, I'll probably fix that one little thing there. And then everything else is looking fine. Um, okay, so let's let's head on board, and I'll show you what this ship has. Um, actually, you know, before we head on board, well, let's take a picture of this because it's funny. Oop. Let me give you a tour of this ship here. So this ship is fully hydrogen, meaning it can go into space. It's got uh, not a crazy amount of hydrogen storage, but you can see a couple of small hydrogen tanks in there, um, and then there are a couple on the other side as well. Lots of hydrogen power on the bottom, uh, and then hydrogen power in the front and in the back as well. So everything's hydrogen. Uh, actually, in terms of power power, it only has batteries. So that is kind of something that's different from this with the other ships. Usually they have multiple sources of power, like, uh, like a... a um, some uranium or some hydrogen power, but I missed that on this ship, so we forgot about that. 
Anyway, the ship is fully pressurized in two sections. So we have a section here for the main um, the main cabin, and we have a section here for the main cockpit. They're both separately pressurized, and then there's an unpressurized section right here. The reason this section is unpressurized is because of this, which is an escape pod. It's just kind of a small little ship that you can press K, go into remote access. Um, actually, I don't think that's it. I think maybe you have to press K, control panel, remote control, then control, and then you're controlling the escape pod. So this escape pod actually has a gyro. It's got two thrusters, so not enough. Here, I'll show you the back. Not enough to quite um, uh, navigate perfectly, but you can, you know, sort of navigate with those two thrusters. It's got hydrogen. Uh, it's got a couple of small batteries. It's got antennas, remote control. It's basically just a tiny little escape pod that you can use in the worst case. And then finally, there is one more thing, and that is the... Um, the emergency button right here. So if you press the emergency button, it will activate this little script that'll run this uh, this alert sound and, t and change the lights. Press it again, it'll turn that stuff off. And that's just using a little script that I had. Uh, I think I made this for the Pertam series, but it basically just turns on and off an alert and sets some, uh, sets some colors and turns on some timers, which are right there. So yeah, that is the ship. It's got a little bit of storage, by the way. I don't have anything in there, but if you were to put like guns or something in there, that would be fine. Um, in terms of actual other storage, it doesn't have much. So actually this, I think, probably has more storage than this does with the medium cargo containers. Okay, with that said, let's get in here and test it out. Uh, I really hope it works well. well. We'll find out. So we'll go into this door, close that, go into here, close that, and let's hop into the left side because we're American and we drive on the left side. But if you were British, you could drive in the right side. Um, okay, recharge off, disconnect, and we are flying. Okay, nice. All right, so it... By nature of it being a hydrogen ship, it's pretty zippy when it comes to uh, going up, which is good, because um, that would allow us to fly on even the harshest areas like Pertam. Full custom cockpit is kind of nice. Uh, this guy is definitely not as zippy as the other two, so if you wanted to get in and out quickly, you would need to use uh, something like one of the other two. Um, it could probably use a couple more gyros, just feeling it out here. But in terms of complexity, it definitely wins for, uh, for that. This one would be good if you wanted to transport from planet to planet going to space or something like that. Uh, or if you're going into maybe a combat zone where you'd need like a drop pod or something like that, you could use the escape pod for that. But yeah, I think this one's pretty good. It's it's pretty responsive. It's actually really fast with those hydrogen engines. The only directions it's not really fast in is gonna be, oh, ran out of power or something. What was that? Uh, no, we ran out of hydrogen. We ended up using all of our hydrogen that quickly. So that is a big flaw that we that we basically went from 100% to zero so quickly. It's probably because we have only these small little hydrogen things. And even though we have six of them, it's probably not enough. So, okay, this guy is going to get uh, <laughs> probably probably a, a, a four out of ten. It's, it's cool. Maybe a five out of ten. It, it's really cool. I like it. It's got some major flaws, though, uh, mainly being that it can't store much hydrogen inside it. So would it have been hard to add more hydrogen? Probably not. I could probably find spots for it, especially if we've got some space there. I maybe could have stuck a big hydrogen tank right there or something like that. But um, but yeah, okay. Let's rehydrogen this guy and then we'll take it back to base and uh, and we'll do a conclusion. Okay, we're back at base. I wanted to test out one more thing with this guy. I want to go up to space and test out the little drop pod over here because I want to see that that thing works. So let's go over to space real quick and test it out. Okay, actually in space, we can also test these pressurizations. So if I go like that, you can see that it does pressurize. And then the same with over here. Uh, if I go like this, it pressurizes very quickly. So I want to test this thing out. What happens if say I'm cruising along over here, but suddenly boom, we lose dampeners and we start falling to the ground. What is going to happen? This ship is doomed. We've, we've, we've got nothing left. All we can do is try and escape. Oh, this guy's not full. Hang on. Well, that's not good. Why are you not full? <laughs> oh, I know why it's not full. Cause I'm a dummy. Here's why. Cause I didn't connect this guy to anything. If I had connected him up to something like, uh, boom, boom, then he would start getting power, but I didn't. So I, that, okay, that's that's another flaw. That is a big flaw for this guy. This guy is riddled with flaws, but hey, you know what? The ship is going down, we have a problem. We need to get on this thing and escape. So let's hop on here, press K, remote control, control this, and we've got to escape here. So let's press number eight, and then we're gonna immediately try and go down. So eight, oh. Okay, well, well, okay, that, that, that's not gonna work. <laughs> that's, that, yep, that's not gonna work. Well, it was a cool idea. <laughs> but it seems like if this ship has any speed at all, it, uh, it, it, um, yeah, it gets stuck in there. 
And... Kerplunk. Actually survived the crash test pretty well. What the heck? All right, so all in all, this ship right here is majorly flawed in a couple of different ways. The escape hatch doesn't work because this isn't connected, so it can't get any um, hydrogen. The entire nature of the ship being hydrogen is cool, but it doesn't work very well to, due to the fact that these don't store enough hydrogen to support all of these thrusters, so that's a big problem as well. And then other than that, I don't think there are any major problems. I will still put it on the workshop if any of you guys want to retrofit it and make it work a little bit better. If you want to like take from the design and build off of it or something like that, all of these will be on the workshop. My favorite one is probably going to be uh, this one. I think the design is cool. I think it supports the most people, which is nice. Uh, and it, um, it has cargo as well. So this one, yeah, definitely my favorite one. This one is my second favorite. It's very zippy. It does its job well. And finally this one, even though it took the longest, even though it's the most complex, it's majorly flawed in a couple of different ways. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, if you want to see me do more concepts like this, uh, let me know in the comment section. Uh, but anyway, if you like this video, please hit the like button, put any comments and, and suggestions down below in the comment section. Uh, if you want to check out the discord or the Patreon, those are down in the description. And if you want to subscribe, feel free to do so. With that, I'll see you all in the next video.